Hey kids, I'm your substitutes teacher, but I'm going to talk to you about Subarus today. Okay? Sounds good. The Black Impreza has not sold yet. After several weeks trying my best on Facebook Marketplace and other venues, it's still here. So I decided to leave it up to the professionals. I met up with some people from a great company called Built for Back Roads. Highly suggest you check it out. A lot of cool cars on there. It's a classified section. It's free to list your cars and they're all really cool, enthusiast-based, modified, fun cars to drive. So I met up with them and they actually did some professional photos for me and they came out great. If there's anything you can do to make your car sell better, it's get good photos. And I'm not talking just grab your iPhone and make sure the lighting's great. These guys are professionals. The lenses, the cameras, the equipment, they had everything. It just looks so good. It captures the car's full essence, its potential. It's just a winning combination when you have professionals involved. I also spoke with Cars and Bids and they've agreed to list the car for me. So when this video goes live, the auction's gonna go live on the car and they're also gonna do a feature on my car. So that video should go live on their channel as well, all at the same time. Upon taking some photos of the car, the undercarriage photos, I noticed a few things that I need to sort out before I actually feel good about selling it to somebody else. Little loose ends here and there, so that's what we're going to do now, is just get it all buttoned up and ready to go. Here we have culprit number one. You see all this crust around the lower radiator hose and on this wire loom here and it's kind of sprinkled throughout. That is radiator coolant. So. This guy wasn't tight, this clamp here. I'm not a huge fan of these, I don't know. I use that by recommendation, but I don't know if I was recommended properly, rather than like an old worm gear clamp. But this was loose, so sitting in my driveway one day after washing the car, I just warmed it up and it started dripping. So <clears throat> tightened it up, now I gotta clean it up because it looks bad. And I don't want people to think that there's a radiator coolant leak when there's not. So, And the oil pan. Giving me grief. Again, I've done this before, but way back there by the pressure plate, you kind of see the pan is leaking. I've resealed this before, and down here around the sides, you can see it's, it's kind of seeping. Not enough to drip on the ground, but when I look at it, I don't like it. This is not fun to do. I've done it before a long time ago. I don't think it's the rear main seal because that got changed when I put the six speed in it for a brand new OEM one. But the best way to do this to drop these oil pans is to loosen the motor mounts. You have one motor mount here and the other one on the other side over here. And then you actually have to loosen the transmission mount as well. And you got a jack the engine up out of the car a couple inches to get to all the bolts so all these bolts are pretty accessible all the way around um probably might not sure if there's enough clearance here to do it without dropping the header i can't remember but you jack up the motor so you can get to these back four bolts these are really hard to get to you can't even see them with the camera they're up against that flywheel um or i have Quite the plethora of extension 10 millimeters, wobblies. I might be able to reach back and get it there. One thing that concerns me though, I don't like the scratches on this pan. I've never bottomed it out anywhere. I just think this must have been something from the previous owner or getting drug around a shop somewhere. So this is kind of wet and it concerns me because right above it all the way around, there's no oil, so it's not like it's oil really. I mean, it's kind of crusty just from being dirty under the car. But I don't think it's dripping per se all the way down from the seal up against the block. I want to say it might be coming from, there might be a little crack or split. So I might run down to the Subaru dealership and see if they have any or put one on order because this just doesn't instill confidence, especially... When I just wipe all these, I mean, you can feel these gouges. They're pretty, pretty impressive. And we got oil and not so much anywhere further up unless it's flying from somewhere else. Bottom of the oil pump looks good. The timing cover looks good. 
oil cooler, oil filter all looks good. All this black here is the previous owner who decided it would be cool to paint everything black with spray paint. So that's all coming off. All these water hoses are brand new. So I don't see any leaks from there. This front timing cover was leaking terribly. That's why I eventually just went and did the whole new timing kit. How about a quick cold start? I know everybody on the internet loves cold starts and they really love to tell you what they think about them. The car's been sitting for several days on a trickle charger, so I hope it starts. Trickle charger not included in the sale because I have another car that sits around a long time and doesn't get drive. So let's hear how it sounds. oil pan has arrived from Subaru a little bit later than I would hope for but it's here uh, comes with the drain plug the gasket probably check that make sure it's tight um, this is from an STI and it comes with a little o-ring here around this I don't know if it's a breather pickup drain area um, it didn't come with those little Pick your dipstick tube o-rings so pick those up for a couple bucks the pan was uh, 117 118 after tax um, just needs silicone but since the auction is now live on cars and bids I probably won't have time to do this um, I cleaned off the old oil pan everything is good under there I took it for a drive, let it sit for several days, I don't see any more oil. So maybe it was just residual from me as a, with doing a sloppy oil change, I don't know. But the new pan will be included with the sale and the two O-rings as well. Like I said, the bid is, the auction is already live, so bid on at carsandbids.com. Uh, I'll put the link down below. This could be yours along with this, if the price is right. Red rims and all ready for its new home. I just got home from filming a video for Cars and Bids with a couple guys, Zach Clapman and Thaddeus Brown. If you don't know who they are and you're in the car industry or have any interest in cars, I'm sorry, you must be hiding under a rock. We're talking smoking tire, Hoonigans, everything in between. Look them up. They're amazing. They are really great guys. I mean, legends. So it was a very interesting experience and it was kind of a I didn't know who it was going to be when sh when I showed up to get the car filmed and then I saw them pop out of the car and I was a little starstruck which whatever it happens you know you can be a fanboy sometimes but learning from them just sitting back and watching and seeing how things how things work and I mean they could film host the whole video within a couple hours I was amazed I mean my videos take weeks sometimes months to do so professional grade professional level is where I'd like to be I'm way down in the bottom so get that experience was priceless i'd love to you know some somehow some way maybe work with them in the future the video is now live on cars and bids I believe it's going to be on the youtube channel it'll be linked in the description of the auction of the car which the auction is also now live on cars and bids hopefully we can boost it up so that i meet the reserve if i do meet the reserve it will be farewell to the Black Beauty, the GC8, GM6, however you want to call the vehicle, will be leaving. So I don't know if I'm going to fill the hole in the garage. Not as easily, well, it's going to be harder to fill the void in my heart when this thing leaves. But one thing I did realize when I saw Zach taking off in my car to go do a little hot lap down the canyon, it occurred to me, I don't think I'm in love with this car anymore because... I didn't really care. I saw him taking off in it and I mean I know between Zach and Thad they probably have driven thousands of cars with thousands of horsepower worth millions of dollars so I wasn't concerned that he couldn't handle all 325 horsepower.
but I didn't really care. You know, when you see somebody driving your car, your precious little baby that you took years to build, you get concerned, you get worried. But in this case, I, I, yeah, I was, you know, indifferent about it. So I think that was a sign that it probably is time to let this go. Please look at the link in the description down below. Check out the auction. I'm interested to see how it goes. I probably won't sleep for a week because I think it's like a five or seven day auction time. So I don't know. Don't sleep with me. Shoot me a message, a comment. We'll see how it goes. Wish us luck. Thanks for watching. See you next time.